sometimes we have crazy shapes that are spinning. Here I have one that's not too crazy, this fan blade, but it does have some very unique geometry here on the curves, which would make it difficult to calculate the mass moment of inertia entirely from math and scratch. Another great example is often car wheels. We have the tires on the outside that have a non-uniform mass distribution. We have all sorts of crazy designs and wheels on the inside. Calculating the mass moment of inertia those piece by piece can be really difficult. Sometimes people do it for us. And instead of just reporting the mass moment of inertia, they'll often report a radius of gyration. And so what is a radius of gyration? One way we could think about this as the average distance that the mass is from the center in terms of mass moment of inertia. And so we can use the radius of gyration, which is given usually as the letter K, to calculate a mass moment of inertia by a very simple equation. The mass moment of inertia will equal the total mass times the radius of gyration squared. Super easy, very convenient, and a way that we can often compare things that are rotationally uh, similar but that have different distributions compare their mass moment of inertias or how the mass is distributed. So we'll usually use this two different ways. One would either be to calculate it once we've done some other stuff on a funny shape to figure out, oh, we can present the information, all that mass moment of inertia calculation we've done. Instead of presenting it as a mass moment of inertia, sometimes we'll present it as a radius of gyration. Or the other way we might use it is if we know the radius of gyration to calculate a mass moment of inertia. So that's what I have here in an example. I have a car wheel that has a mass of 2.5 kilograms and a radius of gyration of 0.2 meters. And we have to calculate the mass moment of inertia of this wheel. So using this equation, I is equal to mk squared. Pretty easy, we have the mass is 2.5 kilograms. We have the radius of gyration is 0.2 meters and that will get squared. And so our mass moment of inertia of this car wheel is 0.1 kilogram meters squared. Anytime I see a problem that has given me a radius of gyration, I sigh a little sigh of relief because this is, in my opinion, by far the easiest way to calculate mass moment of inertia is when we're just given radius of gyration.